Hey, I've discovered a great way of making your artwork literally jump off the page. Crease the clothing. Come and have a look at this. Take a page of newspaper and on it draw a person, any person you like, in any shape you like. It can be a sports personality, it can be maybe a pop personality, but it's a good idea to just draw it in sausage shapes first, like this. I always do this, just to get the right position. And you can just make these adjustments as you go until you're happy with the shape. There it is, I'm just drawing a guy sort of dancing, a sort of a dancing position. And when you're happy with the general shape, then put some clothes on your person. Now, I'm going to put a baseball cap on, put it on backwards so he looks really trendy. If he's dancing, he could be in a disco, couldn't he? So I'll put his disco shirt on there. And maybe, maybe I'll put some shorts on him. Now, hold on, you may be thinking, why has he got shorts on if he's in a disco? Well, maybe it's a hot and sweaty disco, or maybe it's a, a beach disco. And I think I'll put some socks on him down here like that and some nice big trainers. And the great thing about using newspaper like this is you can just make these adjustments as you're going. It doesn't have to be neat, but just get a nice shape. And I think I'll just put a bit more detail on his fingers there, maybe on that side as well like that. And when you're happy with the general position and all the clothes, just cut all of these bits out. Now, the idea is to cut all of the bits out separately so that you can use them as templates to draw around onto other different coloured pieces of paper. So, OK, I'm going to try the shirt first. Now, if it's a disco shirt, we need some disco-y paper. And I've got this scrap of wrapping up paper. There it is. And I've always got these scraps of wrapping up paper that I save over from Christmas. And you never know when you need them in Heart Attack. And I'm just going to use this shirt that I drew on the newspaper as a template just to draw around very roughly onto the wrapping up paper, like that. And the idea is to cut that shape out so that you have something that looks like that. And I think I'll do the shorts. Maybe what I'll do is I'll use a comic for the shorts. They are quite comical, the shorts, aren't they? So I'll put onto an old comic I've got there. Just put that newspaper pair of shorts. Actually, I wouldn't mind a pair of comic strip shorts myself. They'd look rather good, wouldn't they? Just draw around them like that. Just roughly. And remove the newspaper. Cut the shorts out. You have something that looks like that. And the idea is to do the same with all of those bits of newspaper. Just use them as templates to draw around on coloured paper and cut them out. Then take some PVA glue, you know, the white school glue that you get in the squidgy bottles. I'm always using this stuff. I think it's really versatile, this stuff. And then just brush it on to all of the individual pieces. And I'm just doing this really quickly to show you. You can take a lot more time over it, do it a lot more neatly, and just brush it onto the top the shirt and the shorts and all the bits of the body and it looks a bit of a mess at the moment but when you've done all the bits if you just put them to one side and leave them to dry do it separately though so they don't all stick together when they're dry look what happens to the PVA glue yep it goes all hard and stiff and shiny like that and it gives it a really good finish a good effect there the problem is all these bits are still a little bit flat so the only thing to do is crunch them up just crunch them up, put creases back into those clothing. Now, I know you're probably sitting there going, oh, no, 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 he's just done that, no, he's creasing it up. But it's a great effect. Just crunch them up and do the same with all the other bits and just pull them up and crunch them up like that and then separate them. And it's a good idea at this stage to put them onto a piece of thick paper or card as a backing card, any colour you like, something that looks good as a backing. And then it's just a case of piecing them back together again in the original shape like a jigsaw. It's quite difficult to do this. It's quite difficult to grab them because they're all shapes, they're all sticking up. But don't flatten them because you get this great 3D effect there. That's it. He's back in his dance position now. I'm quite happy with that. And when you're happy with the position, just glue it down. Put a couple of dabs of glue very loosely on the back of each piece. And whatever you do, when you're gluing them down, don't press them down, otherwise you'll flatten each piece and you'll lose the 3D effect. And look at that. It really does jump right off that backing board. And I've even added in some musical notes with felt tip pen. And see what I've done there? I've given him some tin foil shades. Try it yourself. Creased art. Good effect, isn't it? And as I say, you can do any person you like. What about a sports personality there? Look at him all creased up, kicking the ball. Or how about a superhero? 
and look at the creases in that cape. And there she is, the craggy old witch, all creased up. Try it yourself, 3D creased art. <laughs>